This is my first uh, video about McIntyre Street. This is McIntyre Street. This is my backyard is on Albert Street. We got Popeye's chicken. I got 237 feet on this side. We got chicken place out back. Across the street, we got all those houses all the way up to the green one. On the other side of the van, a couple more, and then Jason's whorehouse, meth house on the corner, far away from me. We're going to talk about this house here, 449. Jason, my mother, went to the CIBC bank and borrowed the money for me to buy this house. She transferred it to you to hold for Braden. I know because my dad and I stood at the uh, land titles and did it. You weren't there, but we put it in your name to hold for Braden as with everything else. Jason, my mom is owed $200,000 for this house. Do you understand, Jason? She transferred to you for $200,000? Please give her the $200,000. Okay? Do you understand, Jason? You've been getting the rent or a piece of the rent all along and this is how it was supposed to work. Easy peasy. You help run the houses, you get to share the rent to go into a bigger picture where we buy more. What's happened is you've done nothing. When I came back from the Arctic, there was six boarded up houses and two vacant. That's eight. No wonder you couldn't finish a renovation. You had eight boarded up houses. You expected my father to do the renovations. Let's do a three for one today. This house here, my grandmother, my dad's mom, borrowed me money. He had, uh, my dad was a trustee and he was frugal, frugal. And uh, I bought this house with borrowed money from my grandma and paid it back at, I don't know, 8 or 9% interest. It caught fire, made the news. I put, I don't know, 60, 70,000 bucks into it and uh, it's a boom up house. This is a house that I bought with my grandma's help. She got paid back, but Jason, you're claiming a piece of this? Shake your head, man. Shake your head. Let's go to this house here. This house here is an interesting one, buddy. There's a vacant lot in the middle. It used to be a farmyard. And uh, I still have uh, where the two stumps are. It was Chris Kiosis land. Peter Cranechuck sold the red house. That my, That's my first house to Peter Cranechuck sold it to Chris Kiosis, and he sold this vacant lot to Chris Kiosis, which used to be a feedlot. It's never actually had a house on here. And then the barn half burnt down. So I still have a 25, 30 year old caveat on this one, lean on this one, because I never released it with Chris Kiosis. And that happens to be three and a half lots big. My parents transferred that to you, Jason, to hold for my son for 580,000 bucks. You can look up land titles. We want that 580,000 bucks. As with everything, this is how it's supposed to work. You're supposed to help rent and then help collect the rent and the profit from the rent will help build your equity. Right now, you've driven us into the ground doing nothing. We want this 580,000 bucks, Jason. Okay. You want first, we want first. Everybody wants first. So much pollution on this. So much pollution of facts. Jason, this was the first renovation you did for us. You were an apprentice electrician and an employee. That was before we actually formalized any kind of deal. This all started, Jason, I got a signed piece of paper saying that you're entitled to half the profits, none of the equity. It was the same premise all the way along from Bugs Be Gone to the rental houses, M&A, lawn care, all of those things you had the right to run like a lead man. But now we got you doing nothing and expecting everything. This is going to stop. We need to make all involved famous. We can't let this ever happen to another human again. I live stress. Braden lives stress. We don't know what's going on any day with Jason. We hope Jason comes. We hope Jason will do something. We hope he'll grow up. Nope. Nope. Provide a safe haven for booze and Braden's mom. And many people on that watch this will know that she's a drunk. And you give her safe haven to drink. You provide booze for her and help interfere in our world. You know, 
There's a litany of issues here, brother. I think you need to be an Al-Anon. I think you've been involved with alcohol as a, in a relationship so long that it's twisted you, man. You gotta deal with this. So anyways, we'll carry on.